exploring the multifaceted tapestry of ancient Rome unveils the intriguing yet often misunderstood concept of the vomitorium. Embedded within the annals of Roman history, the vomitorium has endured as a subject of curiosity and misconception, its true nature obscured by centuries of misinterpretation and myth. At the forefront of popular imagination lies the notion that vomitorium served as chambers where hedonistic Romans would indulge in lavish feasts, only to regurgitate their excesses in a bid to continue their culinary revelry. However, this fanciful interpretation strays far from the reality of ancient Roman culture. In truth, the vomitorium stood as an architectural marvel within the grand amphitheaters and stadiums of Rome embodying both functionality and form. Contrary to its misappropriated image, the vomitorium was not a chamber for bodily expulsion, but rather a meticulously designed passageway, engineered to facilitate the smooth ingress and egress of throngs of spectators. Derived from the Latin verb vomire, meaning to spew forth, the term vomitorium aptly captured the essence of these expansive corridors. As crowds surged in and out of the amphitheaters, the vomitoriums appeared to discharge attendees with a force akin to a sudden expulsion, efficiently channeling the flow of human traffic. Beyond its architectural ingenuity, the significance of the vomitorium lies in its integral role in shaping the dynamics of Roman entertainment and civic life. These passageways enabled the swift movement of spectators during the grand spectacles and public events that defined Roman society, underscoring the sophistication of Roman engineering and urban planning. The persistence of the misconceptions surrounding the vomitorium serves as a testament to the enduring allure of ancient Rome and the complexities inherent in unraveling its enigmatic past. As scholars and enthusiasts continue to peel back the layers of history, the true essence of the vomitorium emerges not as a chamber of excess, but as a symbol of Roman innovation and societal organization, inviting contemplation and reflection on the intricacies of the ancient world.